and so ends Doctor Who Series 11. Hey guys, it's Lewis here, and if you're wondering why I'm doing the review, because I've snuck in. He said it'd be 50-50, and we're on the finale. Anyway, I think the Battle of Rascor after loss is a very good end to Series 11. On to the Doctor. Well, I think she has a long way to go, but this episode provided some terrific scenes. I particularly loved her last speech about the universe. And Graham had to go a lot this week. He had to reject a fake race last week, but this week, he met the thing that killed her. I think it was quite right that Graham told the Doctor he would kill Zimsha, but I'm glad he didn't. Ryan had less to do this episode, but his relationship with Graham really shone through this episode. They're actually quite a team. Now, Yash should have had a larger role in this episode, as she's not as developed as the other characters. It was great to see her risk sacrificing her mind to save Earth, but it might have been worthwhile to see some side effects. Despite this, I do think she's getting stronger. The guest characters were really good in this episode, specifically the Ux, a race I hope we meet again, who were very interesting and so powerful. Now of course, I have to mention the big twist, the Stenza, more specifically, Zimsha, made a return, and it was very well executed. Zimsha, understandably, wanted revenge, and this put Earth in serious risk, considering the Ux's power. I was hoping for a bigger climax than we- That's my script! Goodness sake. I was hoping for a bigger climax than we got, but I thoroughly enjoyed this episode and think it's a step up from the previous. Lewis, what about you? Well, I thought that, um... I think we know what you think, Lewis. Yeah. Well, thank you, Lewis, for completely hijacking my review. So, the New Year's special is the next time we will see Doctor Who, but I will be back next week with a review of the whole of Series 11. Until then, I've been Christopher, and you've been... Brilliant.